Hey there! Are you wondering if Tailwind Tribes are worth your time and money? Stay with me until the end of this video and I will show you how I've got over 30,000 visits attributed to Tailwind Tribes in just one month. Now, if you want to use Tailwind efficiently, you can get my years of experience as a Pinterest marketer packed in just one hour of pure golden tutorials. I have a video course that shows you exactly how I use Tailwind to automate most of my work on Pinterest. This strategy drives me over 300,000 monthly page views from Pinterest, so it actually works and saves me hours of manual work. The course is very affordable. Check it for yourself, just click the link I give you in the description below this video. Time is money. Now tell me how much your time is worth when you're looking at the price of this course. It's really designed to show you the best ways of using Tailwind to eliminate all the overwhelm you're probably feeling now with your Pinterest strategy. If you've been following me for a while now, you probably know that I'm driving over 300,000 monthly page views from Pinterest to my blog. I have over a hundred boards on my Pinterest account, hundreds of posts on my blog, several pin versions for every page, and I cannot imagine how I would ever manage all of this without Tailwind Scheduler. So Tribes is one of the tools available for Pinterest marketers inside Tailwind. Tribes are communities of Pinterest content creators, like website owners, marketers, and bloggers. And what you really need to know about Tailwind is that it's an official Pinterest partner. There are a few other authorized scheduling tools which work for Pinterest, but Tailwind is the most comprehensive and it seems like Pinterest works with Tailwind team pretty closely to make sure that all new features are in line with Pinterest's spam policies. So everything that Tailwind allows you to do, including using tribes, is a Pinterest-approved strategy. By the way, if you want to learn more about Tailwind Scheduler and not about Tailwind Tribes only, you might want to watch my other video on the channel and I will give you a link to it in the right top corner. It will be an info icon, you will see it there. People often ask me how tribes are different from Pinterest group boards. I know it can be very confusing when you are new to Pinterest to understand all this ecosystem and various parties involved into the process. Here is how Tailwind Tribes are different from group boards on Pinterest. When you submit your pins to Tailwind Tribes, you're not actually saving them to any Pinterest board. You're just scheduling your pins in communities of content creators just like you who joined tribes based on their niche or topic. And when you're saving something to a group board, it's actually pinned on, saved on Pinterest. The second difference is that Tailwind tribes allow tribe admins to track reciprocation. And most of the tribes require at least one repin for each pin you submit. Tribe system also gives you tools to track how much you have reciprocated, so it helps you keep a healthy balance between promotion of your own content and content curation. Now let's talk about what are the main problems Tailwind Tribes can solve for you. As a content creator, with Tailwind Tribes you get an additional tool to help you promote your content and people in Tribes know how to save pins with SEO in mind because they're also content creators like you. They're not just regular Pinterest users who will save your pins to boards with some random weird board titles. Pinterest values us not only as content creators, but also as content curators. Saving quality pins to relevant boards from other sites helps your account get great engagement and grows your following on Pinterest. And to start using tribes, you obviously need to have access to Tailwind. Every Tailwind user has access to a minimum of five tribes, so even if you're on a Tailwind trial period, you still have access to tribes. You also have a limit of submissions in tribes depending on your tariff plan. So let's go ahead and have a look at some of the tribes I'm in. On the left side, you will see the tribes rules and you have to read them carefully because most of the tribes require reciprocation of at least one pin for each uh, one repin for each pin you submit. 
Most of the tribes don't allow pins with affiliate links and of course um, they don't allow off-topic pins. You will also see that most of the tribes are based on the topic or niche, but you will also find some tribes on Tailwind which allow pins from various niches, but at the same time they have another limitation. For example, in this case we have a tribe that allows only pins that already have a minimum of 300 repins, and I've seen several tribes that have allowed um, a minimum of a thousand or 500 repins, etc. So to find the tribes that match your niche or main topic on your site, you will click on Find Tribe and then you can go through the categories over here or just start searching based on the keywords you're looking for. You can set up the keyword over here. For example, let's search for the word value. You see some of the tribes you can join right away. They will have this green join button and these are the tribes that accept, accept all the requests automatically. But some of the tribes will have this blue button request to join. This means that every account asking for access to, be, to this tribe will be reviewed by the tribe admin manually. By the way, tribe admins are not working for Tailwind, they're just content creators like you and I. In fact, anyone can create a tribe for any topic and become a tribe admin. So if you like to create communities and you have the time to manage them properly, just go ahead and create your own tribe just by clicking on this green button, create new tribe. And also you can use this as well if you cannot find any tribes in your niche or for the keyword you're trying to target, then maybe the, the only option is to create your new a new tribe. Again, before you join tribes, you can search based on the topic and you also can see the overall engagement for every tribe. It's called activity. As a rule of thumb, I can tell you that based on my experience with tribes, the ones that where I get more repins, they are usually bigger tribes with more members. After you joined a tribe, you will be able to see an, uh, a number of engagements or reach and reshares for your own pins in this tribe. This is actually a potential number of impressions. And obviously, as soon as you get the tribe, it will be zero, zero and zero. But over time, you will start seeing that some tribes are getting higher numbers and other tribes are underperforming and you might want to leave those underperforming tribes. I made screenshots from a few of my current tribes to show you the difference in potential impressions and repins from these tribes. So you can see here 792,000 and here 7.7 .7 million impressions in potential reach. Obviously I'm going to leave the tribe that gives 10 times lower potential impressions than the first one. Then you can check who are the other members of your tribe. Tailwind shows you how long ago each member joined, how many submissions they made, and it even allows you to start a chat with another tribe member. In my Tailwind scheduler course, I will give you more details about how you could use Tailwind Tribe's um, chat feature to build relationships with other content creators and to make sure your pins are getting more pins. You will find a link to this course in the description below this video. Uh, you can see here that Tailwind gives you a special coupon. If you are a new paid customer of Tailwind, you can get a $30 coupon. And the, the course itself is very affordable, so you definitely should uh, have a look at it. Now let's say you want to save some pins from the tribe as a content curator. You want to scroll down this feed, it's showing you the pins that were submitted most recently, right, in this new tab. But you can also search for a specific keyword if you want to save pins to a specific board on your account. You just need to insert your keyword here and click enter and you will start seeing pins that have this keyword in the pin description. See, I searched for the keyword Pinterest and Tailwind gives me all the pins with this keyword in the description. You can see here which pins you've already shared from tribes. It will be this published green warning and some pins which you just scheduled, but they haven't been actually saved on Pinterest yet. They're just hanging out in your scheduler. 
As always on Tailwind, you have this blue flame number that shows you the summed up repin counts for all the pins. And actually, to be honest, it's not only the Pinterest numbers, because if you had some Facebook shares or Google Plus shares, Google Plus, I think, is been discontinued this network, but Facebook and Pinterest shares will be showing up together. Like in this pin, for example, 803, because three of them were saved, were shares on Facebook. So let me show you now, since we are inside the tribe, how you can save pins from here. For example, I want to save this pin. I click here and I can select the boards that I want to save this pin to. So let me search for something related to Pinterest. I have several boards and when you have a list of boards to save your pin to, don't forget to use an interval of at least one day or more, probably more is better, to avoid saving these pins back to back. After you set the interval, you can go to click on schedule and all the pins will be gone to your queue. Another way you can use stripes is by submitting your own pins. Let me show you how you can do this on one of my blogs. You will need to have this Tailwind Publisher uh, browser button already installed. When you start using Tailwind, it's one of the first things they will instruct you how to install this browser button. So you can just click on this button and it will fetch all the images that you have on this page. You can choose the one that you think is the best to be saved as a pin. If you're using my Pinterest uh, SEO strategy, you already have your pin description defined on your site. I teach about it in my course. So check in the description below the video a link to my Pinterest SEO traffic secrets course if you want to know how to have this pre-filled pin descriptions. Anyway, you can go then click to schedule so Tailwind will open a new window on top of your main window uh, with a spin. And the first thing, if you want to save it to tribes, the first thing you can do before even saving it to your own boards, you can click here, add to tribes and select any of the tribes of your own that you um, haven't saved the spin to. Or if you want to repeat sometime later, like for example, in this case, I added this spin three months ago and it's wonderful that Tailwind warns you about it because you don't want to waste your submissions like you see here I have 80 submissions on a trial or on a basic Tailwind tariff plan you will have even less submissions than this so I want to save my submissions for new pins but anyway some t from time to time I want to come back and repin my older pins once a, uh, once in a while. So maybe once in three months or once in four or six months is not a bad idea to uh, share the same pin again. If you don't have any new pins and you want to um, just wait, uh, spend your monthly submissions before the, the month ends, then maybe that's the way to go. Just go back and check which uh, pins you have saved long time ago. And then I would just have to click add to tribe after selecting the tribes which I wanted to be submitted to and then click add to three tribes or whatever number of tribes you choose. And now I'd like to talk about the efficiency of Tailwind tribes because they do take your time for reciprocation. You have to reciprocate because admins will always be able to see how many shares you've done compared to your submissions. And tribes can also be quite costly if you decide to upgrade for extra tribes above the five minimum tribes which are included in every Tailwind paid account. So people have different experiences with tribes and it all depends on the niche and on the tri specific tribes which you have uh, joined because different communities of bloggers have different kind of activities. So some tribes can be pretty much dead while in other tribes you will see a lot of activity every single day. So here is just one case study I had with a Thanksgiving post which received traffic spikes in October 2017 and then in 2018 it was closer to November with the same pin attributed to one repin made via a Tailwind tribe. So this is how you can check your traffic from Tailwind tribes, by the way. You need to go to acquisition in Google Analytics and then you find campaigns and inside campaigns you will 
you will be you should be able if you if you're using tailwind tribes you should be able to see some um, statistics for tailwind underscore tribes as you can see with this screenshot traffic the traffic i received from pins shared through tribes both times created impressive spikes in October and November. And by the way, in November 2018, I've got over 30,000 users attributed to pins from tribes just in one month. So it's really up to you whether you will use tribes or not in the long term, but it's really worth trying because you have these five tribes and you have some free submissions so at least use this minimum amount and see how it goes for you if you're lucky you will find very active tribes and you will see a lot of engagement and shares for your pins if this information helped you make sure to share it with your friends do the thumb up and follow my channel because i specialize on pinterest marketing and i share the most current tips about this platform every thursday I'll see you in the next videos.